to my channel. Tonight we will be doing a cook with me. We will be making Thai coconut curry chicken over rice. That's a mouthful. This recipe was sent to me by one of my subscribers, Beth Powell, and she said her family really enjoyed it. It looked quick and easy to make on a work night, so I said, hey, let's put it on the menu. So I decided to bring you along as I made dinner tonight. So here we go. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is cook the onions. Now, I am cooking it in the same pan I cooked the chicken in. I didn't show you how I cooked the chicken because honestly, I just threw it in a pan and browned it. There's the chicken. You can boil it, you can bake it, you can do it in the pan like I did. It really doesn't matter. But I figure there's a lot of good flavor in here, so I'm gonna just keep using the same pan. And I am going to spray some olive oil with my misto. Get this cranked up. You can tell I cooked the chicken. My stove's a hot mess. One cup of chopped onion in there. And we are gonna let those cook until they are nice and transparent. So that's gonna take a couple of minutes. Just until they're softened and transparent. And then we'll be back to add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, our onions are nice and cooked down and nice and transparent and looking delicious. So the next thing we're gonna do is add in a squirt of, I just used the minced ginger. And some garlic. Nice big helping of garlic because you can never have enough too much garlic. Throw those around and just cook it for about a minute. I'm gonna turn that down. The next thing we're going to add is a can of unsweetened light coconut milk. Shake it really, 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 really well. And we're going to add that right into the onion mixture. Next thing we're gonna add is two tablespoons of green curry paste. I'm worried about this. See that label? Three peppers, hot. Yeah, I might not add the whole two tablespoons because you know I am an absolute spice wimp. So I'm a little nervous about that. And we're also gonna add one tablespoon of honey. I prefer a local raw honey, not the stuff you buy in the grocery stores. This is from a local beekeeper. Okay, we're gonna mix that up really well, really incorporate that curry paste. And then we're gonna add in our chicken. This is one and a half pounds. It's actually a little bit more than one and a half pounds because I had two chicken breasts. And we're also gonna add in a bag of frozen steamable sweet potatoes. Mix all that in, and then we are going to bring it to a boil, and then turn it down and let it simmer for 10 minutes until the flavors combine and the sweet potatoes are done. Now the recipe did not say whether or not to cover it, so I don't think I will. I'm just gonna turn it up 
until it starts to boil and then turn it down to a simmer for 10 minutes. Okay, it has simmered for 10 minutes. It looks beautiful and smells delicious. So we are just gonna finish it off with a little bit of salt and pepper. Three tablespoons of dried basil. Actually, I'm not doing three tablespoons. That's an awful lot. I'm just gonna do two. And some fresh squeezed lemon juice. Mix that all up. Turn the heat off. And then I'm going to add an entire bag of fresh baby spinach. Now, I do not like the little stems on it, so I went through and removed all of the stems. You don't have to do that, of course, but it's the way I prefer it. Just gonna mix that in and let that wilt down. I'm gonna put a lid on that to keep the heat in so the spinach will wilt down. And I will be back to show you what it looks like all plated up. And here is the Thai coconut curry chicken plated. I am serving it over rice. The original recipe says it makes eight servings. I decided to do six servings at five points a serving. And generally what I do to figure out servings is I put the entire mixture in a bowl and weigh it and then divide it by how many servings and measure it out that way. I just feel it's a lot more accurate than using measuring cups. So that's the way I like to figure it out. So there it is, the Thai coconut curry chicken. So there you have it, the Thai coconut chicken curry. My family really enjoyed it. Um, I was shocked that it wasn't spicy. With three peppers on there and hot on the label, that's why I cut down to like one and a half tablespoons of the curry paste. But next time I will definitely use the full two tablespoons and maybe even a little bit more because it was not spicy at all. I will also add more salt. I just kind of took my salt shaker and shook it over it, but it definitely needed a little bit more salt. I didn't measure, I just dumped. So definitely a little more salt, but it was really good. It had really good flavor. And I love the addition of the sweet potatoes and the spinach, you know, get your veggies in there. So mine ended up coming out to, I did the original recipe. I'm gonna tweak it a little bit on my website. So if you plan on making this, give me a day or two to, to make some edits. Um, the original recipe said it makes eight one cup servings. I ended up dividing it into six servings and it came out to five points per serving, um, which I didn't think was bad at all. And I put it over four points worth of rice. So that was a great nine point dinner. Um, I, when I make it, I'm not sure if I mentioned this when I showed it, plated up or not. I weigh it out and then divide it. I think that's the easiest way to measure for me. So that was it. It is without the rice. It came out to, like I said, six servings, five points a serving. If you do eight servings, it's three points a serving with the ingredients that I used. So there you have it. Our Thai coconut curry chicken. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. And don't forget, if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that would like this recipe, feel free to share my channel. Have a great night, everyone. And thank you again for watching.